Hello, welcome. My name is Edith Kovári and I am an associate professor at the University of Pannonia. I'm also a representative of European Capital of Culture for the University. And the following couple of minutes I would like to talk about what next, the quarter life crisis. Before that, let me introduce you Vesprim and the region. Vesprim won the title of European Capital of Culture for 2023, which means endless opportunity for the town and the surrounding area, Lake Balaton. What opportunities? The planet, the people and the possibility. The planet are the surroundings, the Lake Balaton and Vesprim and all of the joy it uh, provides you with. The people are the community, the university students, the lecturers and also people in the city. And the opportunity, the possibilities that you all gain when you join University of Pannonia and when you join the region. Your creativity is encouraged here. There is a saying, nobody will invest in yourself as much as you do. Investing yourself is more important than investing in money. Because when you invest in yourself, actually, you develop your career and it means money in the long run for you. When you think about it at that age of your life, when you are a teenager, this is sometimes we call a quarter life crisis. What is my future? What the future holds for me? Do I have a plan? And it's not a problem if you do not have a plan. As we say, based on researches, actually at that age you feel lost, you feel scared, lonely and confused. Confused which step to take, which path to take, which road shall I step on? These kind of global fears and hopes connect everyone around the world together. What are the mutual fears that teenagers face? Future, failure and loneliness. But on the other hand, you have the same in hopes. The hopes in the near future, success and relationship. So what binds the two together is the future. If you do not have a plan, even for a day, then you feel lost. If you do not think yourself successful, then you feel lonely. And if you do not have a relationship with a community, you feel uh, disattached for, from people. So what you need to do is actually just step beyond your barriers. You are sane and different at the same time. So enjoy sameness with all of the hopes and different in fears. So what you can do is beat your fear beat your fear and try to find a community that understands you so you are not missing out. There are different generations. Let me just introduce you to the three generations which are closest to you. Your parents. They probably belong to Generation X. So they have different values and expectations and sometimes they are, that's why they are nagging you. What does it mean? They are quite individualist. So they had their own plan and they are very stubborn to fulfill this plan. They are adapting the new society. They were not born in the digital age. They are family centeredness. So family is an important, but they also were born to work. So work is important for them. It's hard for them to keep this uh, life, work life balance, but it's still they try their best. Average, they have two and three or, or two or three workplaces. Probably for you, it's surprising. So your parents, that's why, are very loyal to the company they work for. Probably for you, it is surprising. They have many, many uh, acquaintances, but only two or three good friends they trust. What about your brothers and sisters, older brothers and older sisters, or friends in the family? They belong to the Y generation, the millennium. They are born in the digital age. And also, they are not so individualist. They like to, they like to work in team and they focus on team activities. So the family background is important for them, but it's not secure anymore. More than 50% of the marriages ends in divorce. So you may feel confused whether you belong to your father or mother, but both of them loves you. Don't worry about that. This generation is the one that believes that can change the world. But also this generation 
is the one who are environmental conscious and corporate social responsibility is important for them. And what about you? Your generation belongs to Generation Z. So actually, you are a digital native. Some of the parents and peers say, why are you hanging on the internet all the time? But it has some advantages as well, because your mind is much quicker and you get the information faster than actually the other generation do. Because of the internet, you are more globalized and the multiculturalism mean the, means a lot of you. You respect people from different backgrounds as well. For you, there is not one or two workplaces, but several workplaces during your time. So it's not a problem if you try out yourself in one position and then you change your mind and go to another position. Life satisfaction is an important thing and you indulge yourself a little bit. So probably that's why stress management is not that strong in your life, but you will learn it soon. So your di dilemma is get into university, get a career, go abroad, stay in Hungary. It's all in your mind. But it's not a problem if you take one path and you change your mind because life is very long. You may think it's not, but it is. So you can either choose a horizontal or a vertical career. What is the difference between the two? Horizontal career, when you try out yourself in one position, okay, and you change your mind and after that you learn another subject. For example, you want to be a photographer, so you start to be a media guy, but after that you are interested in biology, so you try out yourself in biology. And at the end of, uh, for example, when you are 30, you combine the two and there is a new idea comes into your mind. So this is called horizontal. The vertical one, if you become an expert, so if, if you are a media guru, then you start to be a reporter, a journal writer, a film shooter, and so on, and so on, and so on, and you go further and further in the career level. It's up to you which one you choose, but at this age of yours, actually, you can choose any, and then later you decide. And what about Erasmus and a campus program? It means that you, cannot, you don't have to choose among this. If you join a university, actually, you can go abroad for one, half year, one year, two years, and you come back. Why? When you are choosing going abroad and work before university, you can do that also, because two years later you come back and join the university. Your knowledge just grows with that. Who influences you? Because you spend quite a lot of time on the internet, it's not surprisingly that influencers, they are not bad guys at all. They are good guys because they try themselves out. They step out from their comfort zone. So it's not a problem if you follow them, but follow them with a conscious mind. Don't go into things that you don't want to. What is fear of missing out? And what is joy of missing out? The two are different. Fear of missing out means that you don't want to miss out from those programs that you think you are less if you are not joining. Online you are surrounded with a different indulgement and you think if I miss out I'm no one, but it's not like that. Try to practice the joy of missing out. Turn sometimes off your mobile phone on the internet. Go out and explore the world that you have never done before. Even a book, believe me, can give you as indulgement as an online film. And what's more, think outside of the box. Not just the conventional thinking, but try to criticize yourself, not just the others. Try to challenge yourself. And this is the way you beat fear of missing out and you enjoy the joy of missing out. Self-actualization or true love do I have to choose from this? You can see a pyramid here. And on the basic, there is the security, the warmness, the home, the food, the water. Then comes a kind of safety with your family, the security of your body, and so on and so on. Then comes the relationship, which is very, very important, and the loved one. And as you grow older, more and more important is to have your self-esteem. But the self-esteem only develops if you have these three basic strong pyramid levels. 
Sometimes you jump immediately to self-esteem, but you haven't got the experience and you might become stubborn. The aim of the life is self-actualization, which means that you have a creative idea, you have the career ladder, you have the support, and you actually want to be the person you dreamed of. So self-actualization is a good thing. You can be the best CEO, but if you miss out the third step, love, you can be a lonely person sitting on the top of a company, and you don't want to do that. How can University of Pannonia help in that? Beating your fear because you belong here to a community. And there is a talent management program for everyone, so you will have a mentor. Secondly, hungrier approach. This is not a question at the University of Pannonia. It's an answer. You join and you have endless opportunity to have a scholarship abroad. For more, you more. Actually, it's not a problem again, because we have online teaching as well, but you can enjoy the missing out and build your community. And self-actualization or love, you don't have to choose either. You can have here because of your brain self-actualization and because of the community secured love. So think about that. Let's discuss these dilemmas with your peers, with your parents, with your teachers at the secondary school. And when you have the answer, we will welcome you. Thank you very much for listening to me.